Now, can I get you all to take your seats again, please, because it's the moment you've been waiting for. But before I announce the names of the teams that will be going into the final round, I'd like to say how impressed I am with all of you, and you've put me to shame. I'll have to go and start studying again. I was so impressed with all your knowledge, and I congratulate you all getting here. So a big round of applause to yourselves. Don't be disappointed if you're not one of the teams going forward because, as I say, you all did terribly well. Now, I'm pleased to announce that the two teams going into the final round are... Drum roll. Excellent. Excellent. Cumley Park. <laughs> I think that was the teacher. Where's Cumley Park? Stand up, Cumley Park. And St Leonard's. There we are. <laughs> scores of all the teams are now displayed on the screen behind me in alphabetical order by school, so you can see how you've done. And while that's happening, can I ask the finalists to make their way to the seats in the front row of the chamber so we can begin the killer final round? the scores to be sorted out. There's technology for you. And we'll put them on at the end. Can we do that? Yes. Whoever's counting things up. Now the final round. Breathe deeply. The round has 20 questions. The first 10 questions alternate between the two teams. If a team answers correctly, they win the point. If a team answers incorrectly, the question will be passed to the other team for a possible bonus point. This will be followed by 10 buzzer questions. I'll monitor the amount of time allowed to answer the questions to ensure fairness, and Graham Blythe will keep the scores. Please choose a speaker for your team who's going to give the answer. So some, put your hand up if you're going to be the speaker. That's so the recording team can find you. Because if I call you to speak, please use the microphone. It will help everyone to hear your answer properly. Now, are you both ready? I didn't hear you. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, you are. All right. Just checking. Right. Question one. I go to the first team first. Yeah, I'll go to Cumley Park first. Just checking. It's the first time I've done this just like you. Which country is bordered by Germany, Poland, Slovakia, and Austria. No. St. Leonard's. Czech Republic? Yes. St. Leonard's. The Aegean Sea lies between Greece and which other country? Turkey. Yes. Team A. Minsk is the capital city of which European country? Belarus. Yes. Team B. Kiev is the capital of which European oh, country? Sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's all right, we know it works now. <laughs> Ukraine. Yes. Luka Modrich is a footballer from which European country? That's Croatia. Cumley Park. Indeed. St. Leonard's. What is the nationality of tennis player Caroline... Oh, I've forgotten how to pronounce his name. Wozniacki. Czech? No. She's Danish. She's Danish. Yeah, she's Correct. Danish. Cumley Park. Cumley Park, your question. Which British mathematician and physicist discovered gravity? Isaac Newton. Yes. yes. St. Leonard's. Who wrote the tale of Squirrel Nutkin 
and the tailor of Gloucester. Squirrel Nutkin and the tailor of Gloucester. I'm going to pass it over. No answer? No, Cumley Park. Beatrix Potter. Yes. Back to Cumley Park. Which Germanic people set up kingdoms in Italy and Spain in the Middle Ages? Goths. Yes. St. Leonard's. Which Viking people first settled in France, then conquered England in 1066? The Normans? Yes. There we are. Now we move on to the buzzer questions. Each question will be answered by the first team to buzz. So, you know, it's buzzers first, as we know. There is no conferring once the buzzer has been pressed. This is like university challenge, isn't it? A correct answer wins the point. If the answer incorrect, then the question will be passed to the other team for a possible bonus point. And that team may confer. So you understand there is no conferring once the buzzer has been pressed. When you come up with the answer, you get the wrong answer. It can be passed to the other team and they can confer. I've always wanted to say this. Practice your buzzers first. Let's see if they all work. Thank you. Is somebody's buzzer not working? Just a wee minute. I'll tell you what, no point doing it all together. Let's see you press, press them in order. Right, starting here at my... Uh, you start with your buzzer, see if it works. Next. Press. The light has to go off. Yes, right, next one. This is like a parlour game. It's taking a long time. That's it. Wait for the light to go off. Let's see if they all work. Can't have any mistakes at this stage. That's you next. Come, it's St. Leonard's. You're waiting. Right. Oh, right, different colour. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Oh, let's forget the questions. Let's just play with the buzzers. Huh? <laughs> right, fingers on buzzers. I've always wanted to say that. Ready? What is the capital of the southernmost Baltic state? Yes, St. Leonard's. Tallinn. No. You may now confirm, Cumley Park. Vilnius. It is indeed. What is the nationality of Formula One driver Sebastian Vettel? He's German. He is. You don't need to wait to the end of the question if you know it. You press your buzzer. What is the name of the fastest ever commercial passenger plane? Concorde. Correct. Who invented the television? Sorry. <clears throat> um... No, I felt like saying penalty, but there's no penalties. It isn't like that, so I pass it to Cumley Park. John Logie Baird. Well, there's a bit of dispute about that, but we'll accept it. Yeah. In which mountain range would you find Mount Elbrus? Russia? No, the Caucasus Mountains. I'll take that, yes. <laughs> the Caucasus Mountains. Next one, which country won the 2017 Six Nations Rugby Tournament? Who pressed that? Hesitation? No, Ireland. I'm going to pass it. England? Yes. Cathy Leveranta, who manages the company that created the Angry Birds game, is from which country? Come Finland. Finland is correct. What is the nationality of the singer Christine and the Queens? French? Yes. Why did you, how did you know that? That's free. <laughs> <laughs> In which city is the, is the Atominium situated? Brussels. Yes. What is the name of the river that flows through both Warsaw and Krakow? The Vistula. It is. And that's the end of that round.
I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the results. I uh, don't know. Is this microphone on? Yes, yes excellent. We'll now, we'll now present the prizes to the top three teams. It would be great pleasure to invite Sir David Edward, patron of the Scottish European Educational Trust, to join me to present the medals and the trophy. Sir David will say a few words. Well, before I present the medals, I just got a, a question whether you agree with something. The drummer in Louis Armstrong's band was called Barrett Deems, and he was asked what he thought about Europe, and he said they should clean it up, paint it, and sell it. Do you agree with that? <laughs> you do? <laughs> okay. Right, well, first of all, I would like particularly to thank uh, Jane Byers, Madeleine McGurk, uh, who have worked for Scottish Educational, European Educational Trust, really very, very vigorously to lay this on. And also the person who set the questions, who unfortunately isn't here to be with us, Cara Ross, and I'd like to congratulate all of you, because you're a great deal cleverer than I was at that age, and also to congratulate your teachers, your parents, your grandparents, your uncles and aunts, or whoever helped you to prepare for all this. So, if you're not going to clean up, paint it and sell it, Go and travel, and the one important thing in your life is have fun, because there's no point in life if you don't have fun. So, <laughs> let's now... Um, I'll read them out for you, if you like. Hmm? I'll read them out. Right. Right? Um, because you're going to present the prizes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right, here we are. In third place... Sheens, do come forward. <laughs> well done. Here's your prizes. Here we are. Let's put this round your neck. Oh, put it round your neck. Oh, yes. Round You've won neck. something. Yes, okay. <laughs> there we are. That's good. Thank you. And we'll get a little picture. Thank you. You want us over here? You come. Yeah, we are. Dave, you come and get Jane as well. Here we are. Yeah. You'll go nice. Here we are. Well done. Well done. <laughs> In second place, drum roll. 
Vincent Leonards. Well done. I wondered where you were going. <laughs> and congratulations. Well done. Well done. Paddy, you're lovely. Love his, love his shiny cake. <laughs> There you are. Well done. Let's get your pictures. Let's see Paddy in the picture. And in first place, drum roll, Comely Park. Well done. <laughs> and who's this? Goldie. Oh. And it's got Comely Park just in case it gets lost. <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> Now, you want to thank Sir David Edward for presenting the prizes, please. Well, I hope you've enjoyed yourself. You've certainly made the Parliament a lot more interesting than it usually is when I'm sitting up there. Don't tell the MSPs that. I'd now like you to, to ask John Mulgrew to come to the lectern to do a brief note of thanks. After that, what I would say to you is this, that we will then be able to then go into the garden lobby, all of us, where we'll have a big group picture with everybody who's taken part today. Okay? John. Thank you, um, Deputy Presiding Officer. You've actually just answered the question I was going to ask, and that was, is there any difference between chairing this event in the normal meeting of the Parliament. They're not looking for an answer. They're much better <laughs> behaved. Excellent. And I want to thank Christine. She's been a first-class chair today, and it's quite a brief to somebody who's a very busy life. Yes, I glad you say. <clears throat> and we're delighted, um, Deputy Presiding Officer, that this is the ninth year in succession that we've been able to use the Parliament building, which makes, us for us, makes it for us all, and particularly for the young people who have come and had a tour of Parliament today. So thank you to you and your colleagues for that. Graham Blythe from the European Commission has done an excellent job today 
I think I'm going to recommend them to the BBC for one of these quiz programs that seem to keep popping up. But the European Commission has been very, very supportive of us. And in fact, without the European Commission's support this year, this wouldn't have taken place. So, Graham, thank you very much for your contribution this afternoon. And I just wanted to mention the Gannicke Trust, another Scottish trust fund which financially has helped us, Education Scotland, students from Harriet Watt University who did the language um, recordings, the local authority colleagues who organised the 31 local heats across Scotland. That's, that's some task and also the Parliament events team and broadcasting team. And the European Parliament, along with the European Commission, has been responsible for donating gift bag materials. Thank you to them. Thank you to all of you for coming. I hope you've enjoyed the afternoon and uh, we look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you. Now, as I said, you can join me on the steps of the garden lobby for a photograph. So, in an orderly fashion, make your way to the back. Of, when I've finished speaking, sit down again. I love doing that. Please make your way to the back chamber when ready, and event assistants will assist you to the garden lobby. Take all your belongings with you, as you'll not be returning to the chamber. And as you leave, certificates and goodie bags will be handed out to all of you as you leave the building. So perhaps if we could start with the people at the back moving out first, so we're not all in a one -er. So just make your way out from the back and then do it by rows. Okay? Do you want me to take all your papers so that you can stand and get From the back. Now the next row go out, second row go out as well. I'll go to the back and help. Well, they're looking. Ah, I see your scores are up. If you want to stop just a minute and look at your scores, I didn't realise they were on the display board. So you can see your scores. Did they get a copy of these with email for school? These can be sent to your school as well. So if you want to start leaving the chamber now, please, that would be excellent. I'll go to the back and help them.